mayhem in Zanu PF Manakalan province as angry members threatened to vote for Chamisa's MDC. The uproar over alleged disqualification of preferred candidates by Zanu PF's career politicians in the party's provincial and district structures has forced the party's national political commissar Angelbert Ruge to announce that vetting of candidates was now going to be done by a committee that he chairs. Zanu PF career politicians in Manakaland face embarrassment if politicians and business people who have joined the race to represent the party are allowed to contest in the party's primary elections due soon. Disgruntled party members have threatened to vote for opposition candidates if Ruj does not intervene. Baarama Zango was popularized in the 2008 harmonized elections when Zanu PF supporters voted for their preferred candidate in the council and parliamentary election but voted for an opposition presidential candidate. In Makoni South, hundreds of Zanu PF supporters vowed that they were not going to back a candidate who is expecting to be employed through occupying political office. They were protesting the disqualification of aspiring candidate Masek Mataraniaka, whose family they said, has been benefiting the locals through their company Nyaradzo Funeral Services. Mataraniaka was allegedly barred from contesting because his transfer was not done 12 months before vetting which locals claim was frivolous. We have numerous people like him whose CVs have been accepted like Lt. Gen. Saibu Zizomoyo, Mines Minister Winston Chitondo, Philip Chayengwa, James Makamba, Andrew Nishamba and even our own Nisa Mufumi in 2014, a Mithzanu PF official said. He said this was an attempt to protect personal interests at the expense of party and grassroots interest. They said the party should even bar some politicians from contesting on the party ticket after they have perennially lost elections in the past instead of antagonizing people they said would rejuvenate the party. This is our chance to recreate ourselves as ZANU PF. We need all these business people and professionals to join the party because some of them were not willing to actively represent the party because of the previous toxic politics, the official said. Our party should continue winning but for that to happen, we should put people who have people at heart. We don't want people who want to look for employment through political office," Laxton Ching Aura, a Guangwansa district vice chairperson said during a rally. If possible we want her huge to come here and listen to our grievances. Otherwise we are not going to the cats that you want to force us to accept," Ching Aura said. Robert Wadioka repeated the same sentiments. If they give us anyone else then this seat will go to Chamisa's MDC, Wadioka said. Nyaradzo has been offering locals a 50 cent per month funeral policy in the area where the Mataraniaka family hails from with Masek being the company's legal manager. This is just a microcosm of how the province was performing ahead of the primary elections as many candidates were being barred off and with interested parties presiding over the vetting processes. In Nyanga South, it is alleged that there was an attempt to protect Supamanda Wanzira by blocking talent Kazuma, who has also been spearheading infrastructural development in the area. In Headlands, it is also alleged Christopher Chinga Show is being cushioned from competition by barring Ferry Map Fumo. Oliver is reported to have benefited from the same system as he is not only the sole candidate in Bureau West but also participated in candidate vetting as a member of the provincial executive.